Frontal fibrosing alopecia is a form of scarring alopecia which is seen mainly, but not exclusively, in postmenopausal women. We are now seeing it in premenopausal women and very occasionally in men. Frontal fibrosing alopecia is characterised by progressive recession of the frontal hairline. Often this process is quite slow and may go unnoticed for a period of time. Frontal fibrosing alopecia is thought to be a variant of lichen plano pilaris. This is an inflammatory scarring form of hair loss. Frontal fibrosing alopecia can either be asymptomatic with just slow progression of the frontal hairline or can have a burning or itching sensation in the affected area. On clinical examination, often perifollicular redness and scaling can be seen around the individual hair follicles. The extent of hair loss can extend from the frontal hairline to the ears and occasionally also affects the posterior hairline. Sometimes associated lichen plano pilaris can exist with frontal fibrosing alopecia, causing diffuse hair loss from the scalp as well. Treatment for frontal fibrosing alopecia is similar to treatment for lichen plano pilaris. Topical therapies include topical steroids or topical calcineurin inhibitors, and also intralesional triamcinolone injections can be used. Systemic treatment in the form of hydroxychloroquine, tetracyclines or other immunosuppressing medications can be used. There is some evidence that potentially finasteride or dutasteride may help as well. No one treatment is universally successful for frontal fibrosing alopecia. Clinical photography is essential to monitor response to treatment. As frontal fibrosing alopecia is one of the scarring alopecias, treatment results are seen when treatment is started early. Because the hair follicles are being destroyed and we can't regrow hair, the aim of treatment is to prevent progression.